Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm having to basically fix something that I broke, which isn't ideal. And so this is a bit of an interstitial carpentry project, I guess. I have here some bed slats, slats from a bed frame. And I need to make a shelf for a tumble dryer to sit upon. And I want it to be sturdy because in the future we may replace it and it might be that the washing machine goes on top, which is significantly heavier. Or we may invest in one of those fancy heat pump tumble dryers that costs a lot more money but is more efficient and way heavier. So what I'm going to be doing is, is actually chopping a little bit off the ends of each of these so that I can keep... I could chop it all off one side, but then I'd end up cutting into this ribbon that is holding it together, which is actually quite handy. So what I've done is I've set up the distance on my table saw and... And I'm going to be chopping that off each side using using all of this. I'm in the workshop, by the way. This place is half workshop, but mostly dumping ground. And then I'm going to create a little side rest for the whole thing to sit upon using those timbers there. I'll take you into the laundry room now, show you what I broke and show you why I need to replace it. Then I'll jump back in here and show you what I've done. Right, the washing machine is going. Basically, I've, I built this housing and I forgot to get this front edge the same as that. I just got it wrong, basically. And then when I was installing it, the screw went up at an angle and bust, oh, it busted this one. It busted this one, which I then glued back in place. And then the weight of this, it's just, it's, it's crap, basically. And I put L brackets underneath and supported it. It just, it just it's just not strong enough. Also, one other thing that I can solve, a, a, a problem which I hadn't realized, is when this really gets spinning, it actually travels across slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block down here and a block down here to support the weight of the timber and the unit. That'll actually help hold this in place on either side, just that it doesn't travel quite so much. So I get to solve one curiosity while fixing one problem to carry the weight of this. And then what I'll do is I'll just paint it this kind of gray color. Or I might leave it in timber. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But that's, that's the job. That's what we're doing today. You'll have seen on the time lapse, that's it. My wife has described it as a posh pallet. Pretty fair. And I zip the corners in, get the whole thing square, and then I've run across. This fits really nicely in that space, so that's good. The other thing that I mentioned as being a, a benefit of this, the thickness of these timbers that I've got here mean that it fits perfectly side to side here of the washing machine. So when this runs in the whole way, it'll hug the top of the washing machine the whole way across, the base will stay where it is, the top will stay where it is, and this will stop traveling. Because at the minute, I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but what happens on a spin cycle is it'll move over and it starts humping the edge of this, which I think is possibly what's weakened this side bit here, because it's just, you know what it's like. So yeah, that, that'll, that will square up and slide straight in. So I need to take this off, take this off, Put the new, I'll have to actually take this out so I can 
So what I'm doing is I'm going to screw from the inside here into there, so I'll get a, a kind of one and a half inch screw or something that will span between the two without coming through the outside here. I'll do that now. So I have pre-drilled the whole load of these screws. They've all got about a centimeter left on them, which means they shouldn't poke through on the outside wall of this. I didn't bother filming that because it would have been really dull to be fair, but that's now done. I've also marked lines where the bottom of this needs to sit so that I can get that fixed in place. So. I, I will probably end up blocking your view. You won't be able to see a vast amount. I'll, I'll try and film myself doing this on time lapse or something, but if not, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I just need to remember the bottom of this sits on that line, and then I'll re screw these down into it. That is all done. I'm really happy with that. I've still got access through the slats here, down into there I can reach. So that's good. This sits off, a little gap there. This is nice and sturdy. All of the weight gets distributed to the edges here. Our tumble dryer is not especially heavy anyway, so that's fine, but hopefully this should, here and here should stop this from traveling. Actually, you know, this kind of goldeny pine color complements quite nicely with that. So I'm not even, not even that sure I'd need to go to the trouble of painting it. But we'll we'll see. Right, I'm going to lift the tumble dryer from there. I'm going to lift that in. I'll lift that in now, and that all fits in quite snug. I'm really pleased with that. That is nice and sturdy here. That's in and snug. It's all level and happy. So yeah, very, very pleased with that. I know it was only a quick video. 
and it doesn't really follow the same format as anything else but hopefully you found that useful enjoyable helpful interesting it's a little update of where i'm at and what i'm doing please do like follow subscribe all of that and i will see you on the next video